We are going to Tamagotchi a human. This is the weirdest uh, flip. B while moving to pass. Bit type enemies are small enough to swap places with by dashing while facing one. They're quick and can be difficult to deal with in groups, but you can slip past them even if you're surrounded. Traps are concealed throughout the wasteland. Mine deals half your HP and damage. Acid mine inflicts corrode. Traps are invisible, triggering when you stand on them. There are many variants of traps in the wasteland. Tread carefully. It doesn't help too much. Striking the air will detect hidden traps. It might not be practical to do this all the time, but it might come in handy in certain situations. Oh, I even lost my blade. Yeah, so even my equipment goes away. What do we got? Extra defense or sneak attack. Greatly increases damage against enemies in contact with smoke effects. Let's go with the defense boost. I doubt I'm going to be using sneak attack. Maybe if I had more powers for it, sure. But I got bupkis. Okay. Hello. Is that a... What is this? Oh, it's a shield. Average shield is resistant to contamination, so its performance can't be negatively in uh, affected. Oh. There's a contamination system even for equipment like that. I wonder if that's more of like a durability system more than anything else. Probably is. Let's see. I wonder if it's current HP or max HP. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit spooky. Let's see. Unfortunately, one mild issue with these games is they often tend to be a little bit meditative. There we go. Doesn't help that I'm just weirdly tired. I'd say I got a reasonable amount of sleep last night, but I kept waking up. I've just been kind of zonked ever since. It's okay, though. It's... We got another shield. I don't think I can equip both of them. The kind of nice part is, like... I don't know. I could have a totally lazy Saturday if I want to. Yep. Well, there's the corrosion trap. What if you can trigger it? Yep. You can, in fact, trigger it repeatedly. Let's just heal up. Well, at least once I know where it is, we don't have to worry about it as much. Shame. Uh, uh, thought you or hoped you get enough rest. Eh. I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Hello. You're a. Uh, Oh, it's like almost a Caterpie. Well. Let's see. Kite. Attack and retreat at the same time. Main problem is cost energy, so let's go for evade rate. Once we have more energy gain stuff. Absolutely. There we go. Not quite sure if it's worth fighting these things. I guess we could lob a grenade. That is an option. Let's see, anything around here? Nah. Can I? No. Can't go diagonal across that gap, but it is fine. I might still run out of energy. Ooh, it's a monster house. I wonder if grenades have an AoE to them. Because this guy looks spooky. Well, trying it. Okay, defense or shot. Long range frontal attack, low on power. 
Let's try gun. Eh. Gun. Okay. That is very low on power. Okay. Only immediate problem. I... Don't necessarily know if I'm gonna die from this. Okay, it's just this guy. What was the button for just resting? Let's see, if I check archive, tips, how do I rest? Let's see, no, that's swapping items. A and B is standby. I gotta watch my energy a little bit, but I saw a ton of batteries down in the monster house. And there's another battery. Hell yeah. Inflicted with sleep. Oh, that's not a problem. Okay, so I can't hit around corners that well. Okay. I think they're finally discovering where I live. But that's fine. Holy crap, how many of them were there? Nope, there's still more. Why? Not a monster house, it's monster hell. Let's go, uh, drop rate. Seems I'm fighting like a billion things here. Is that all of you? Please tell me it's all of you. Hello? Yes, almost all of them. There we go. Okay. Re recovers 50% of energy. Oh, dang. And warp trap. Well, that's okay. All I needed was one of those. Actually, let's use the toolkit and heal up. Oh, let's go back down. Let's see, didn't Dungeons of Dreadmore have monster houses? Honestly, tons of games have had monster houses. Bam. Like, if we get a blade, this would have come in handy. Man, look at all this stuff that I can't actually use. Why are there warp traps everywhere? But yeah, I... I like the idea of mystery dungeon games. The one thing I will say is many of them are incredibly similar. Like, honestly, once you've played one, you probably have played many of the rest. Does that necessarily make it a bad thing? I don't know. From my perspective, it's it's hard to care anymore if like a game is too derivative or too similar to another. As long as it's done well. Why? Uh Yeah, I think they're all just blades. We do have some batteries. I'll want to pop one before we leave. But still. But the one thing I will also say with Mystery Dungeon games is there are enough slight differences that they have a bit of a different flavor to them. And, uh... They're so few and far between, it doesn't feel too bad to, like... You know, go from one to the next. As long as you're not chaining one Mystery Dungeon... Or, like, as long as you're not moving from one one to the next constantly, it's not so bad. The biggest issue is just, like, yeah, there's not enough variety between them to say, do Mystery Dungeon month without losing your mind a little bit. Okay. Use the leaky battery. I've got a 1-volt battery, but you know what? I'm going to throw that 
We're just we're just gonna carry some batteries with me. Yeah, they also have different stories. Oh, it's kind of mixed on for me. If I want to play a game for story, uh, gosh, I don't know if I'd play a mystery dungeon game. Maybe a couple of them. Hey, because I got the bat batteries, I can actually... Oop. I can actually use my abilities now. And corrosion traps. Do have another... No, they're both 1 volts. More shields. It would almost be kind of nice if uh, items that were left on the ground I could just go up to and say, like, please disassemble this. Alright. Evade rate or attack boost? Go for evade rate. Oh, that's only a 2% bonus. That's not actually that good. Let's see. Man. The other thing I'd say is the extremely... Like, the music is pretty good, but this is, for whatever reason... Well, not for whatever reason. This is exactly the kind of music that I listen to before I go to sleep. Uh, just kind of loungy, electronic, ambient? I don't know, whatever the heck this music is, is called. But this is what I listen to before sleeping. So, doubly on top of the whole, like, eh, I didn't sleep much last night, is the... Man, this is just uh, making me zonk a bit. So if there's any other ones like Moonlighter and Wreckit here, please just, I gotta know about them. I'd agree, because both of those are fantastic, and I can't off the top of my head think of any other within the immediate genre. Especially for Moonlighter and Wreckit here, both of which are absolutely fantastic. Hello. I, I liked the idea of Moonlighter, but as like a financial sim, I found it to be a bit weak. Ah, uh, and even as a dungeon crawler, it was a little weird. Wrecketeer, I felt like got more into the financials of everything, which I really digged. Dig, dug, I don't know. Really enjoyed. But the combat in it, in it was just mediocre. But I mean, it was an older game made by a very small studio or like one guy. I'm not entirely sure. And so it's a little harder to be like, yeah, my standards need... Uh, this does not meet my standards because I understand what it is and why, why it is the way it is. Oh, due to high contamination, recovery is raised. Got it. Well, I can use that. Infected with glitch. Uh-oh. Oh, this is a bad time to be glitching out. I am... Super boned. See, what do I got? I got a battery and a grenade. And not a toolkit to spare. Okay, that gets that one. Go for the HP boost. Doesn't really help me too much. Uh, 
Okay. Don't use pro. Let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, barely any HP left. Perfect. Okay, we get a toolkit. Because here's the thing. I'm dead. I triggered a warp trap. Oh, God. That was rough. Well, let's see what we get. I don't think I got the terminal I was looking for, but we did get some resources. Well, that was rough. Oh, Robbie, welcome home. Huh? Why did I return here, you say? This is Scrapyard, Robbie. It sensors automatically locate objects classified as scrap. Then it... Transfers that scrap here. A haven for trash, like us. It's quite a lovely thing for us. You, me, and all the scrap around here. We're like one big family. Unfortunately, screen protocols dispose dangerous components of scrap before they enter the scrapyard. It appears as though the upgrades you obtained during your expeditions are classified as dangerous, Robbie. Your items also seem to have been deconstructed by the garbage compactor when you returned home. But don't be sad. There'll be plenty of use to you as resources instead. So if you acquired all the necessary materials, if you haven't yet, don't lose hope. Go on another expedition. You'll get you'll still get resources if you're incapacitated. Don't let your dreams die. Item craft, pet nanny. I need a broken ma machine. Yeah, I was really hoping I could loop back around, grab one or two more med kits. I go from there. I think I might have been able to pull it off if I had, uh... If I had gone for the grenades instead. But alas, I wasn't thinking, and... I don't know. Got a hearty mushroom. Yeah, but then a corrosive trap, and then I get surrounded. Yeah, bad luck really just kind of wailed on me on that one. But it's fine. For every I empty item slot, evasion rate, no. Let's go attack boost. Let's just hit. At least I know I can stand at doorways and attack. Because they can't attack me around diagonals. Okay. The other thing I could consider is, like, going full Captain America... And if I'm really in trouble, I start chucking things. I was having trouble putting space between myself and my enemies. That's one corrupted shield. It is, but a higher corruption did mean better stats. Okay. Getting a blade early will also help if we run into another monster house. Because I think the last, the first one that we ran into, I had to do just like totally unaided. I don't like how it limits my vision in small corridors. Like, I should at least be able to see a fair distance ahead of me. We off and away we damn this goes places okay we get another shield which is not that helpful nope nothing there 
Wham. Okay, doesn't actually do that much bonus damage. Evade rate? Nah, let's go for the defense. Evade rate might actually be worthwhile. If I'm on, like, a much longer run. Let's see, unless they're upgrades that increase your vision, it's probably just an artifact of the genre. I Yeah, I'd agree with that one. Okay, grab the toolkit. Oh! We especially want to focus on defense because I've got the shield. Inventory is full. It's true. And it is now nap time. There we go. Yay, corrosion trap. Let's see. What kind of battery is this? It's leaky battery. Let's just use it. Inflicted by glitch. Whoops. Maybe you shouldn't have done that next to the corrosion trap. But I don't think I get much of a choice. Hello, is there anything here? Nope. Big long passageway. Not a lot in it. At least I do a ton of damage. Why? There we go. That'll make my life easier. Do we have another big room? Nope. Off we go. I wonder if there are going to be other biomes for this game. Or if it's really just kind of this one. Because I don't necessarily mind this, especially early on. But after a certain point, we're going to... Let's see. Okay, that's a contaminated mushroom. Evade rate? Nah, let's just go attack boost. Got a hardy mushroom. Okay, so this one's a lot more contaminated than the others. Oh, warp trap. Alright, I guess I'm just here now. There, there's a enemy duder here. Hello, bye. Why are they everywhere? Why are there corrode traps in what's supposed to be a human colony? Like, what? Okay, and those guys... Stinking hurt. Ooh. Okay. Probably should have actually done that once. Leaky battery gets me... Glitch. Unless we run into a monster house immediately, we'll be okay. Ow. I definitely am missing that perk that gave me bonus drop rate. That one was handy. I know there's a toolkit in the exit room. I was kind of hoping to carry it with me down to the next floor. There we go. Alright, slash. Straight line slash attack. Goes through the enemy if there's space behind them. I mean, I'll grab it. Because the other one's actually just useless for me. Okay. Throw that one. There we go. That's how I swap. I'll also go for the grenade, but I think I'm going to skip it. Hopefully we can increase our inventory at some point. I second that motion, because, boy, it's, uh... It's a bit small. Let's see. Unfortunately, I think we... We need to unlock the human before we actually get any kind of meta progression. He's actually surviving a run. Nope. 
There we go. Running in place is dangerous. Ow. Whoa, shield boy hurts. Uh... Okay, kill that guy. Use a toolkit. Well... Ow. At least we can safely say I'm pretty sure the... the landmines do based on cur current HP. Otherwise, I probably would have died from them repeatedly at this point. Oh, what do we get? Kite. No. Critical up? Sure. Well, I would like a battery. I really am not paying attention. There we go. I... Uh... Please, one of you drop a battery? Nope. Oh, Biogel. Gets me some energy at the very least. I think... Nope, that's another Biogel. Hell yeah. Okay, is this... No, this is a toolkit. I'm gonna use the Biogel anyway. Because we kind of desperately need the resources. This was a fool's venture. I was really hoping I could get a battery here. Instead, we found the level with incredibly long and pointless hallways filled with caterpies. I guess they're actually more like Weedle. More than anything else. Okay. On we go. Energy is running low. Yup. That it is. Can't do much about that. Unless somebody feels very generous and gives me a battery, please. Well, I found the broken machine. So I guess we're good to go. You know what? Peace. I don't really gain any benefits from sticking around. Why is there more? This looks horrid. Oh! Boy, howdy. Okay, I think that one shielded up. Ow. Okay, we level at a good time. Give me an attack boost. Get hit in the butt. And I'm dead. Well, let's see if I get to keep the machine at the very least. That got rough. Yeah, I got the battery, but, uh, whew, something in there was rough. Okay, we didn't get a rotten food, but that's fine. Because I at least carried the hearty mushroom with me. Oh, Robbie, welcome home. Great penny with gathered materials. Item craft. Pet nanny. Craft bonus. Craft bonus? We did it, Rami. Penny's makeover was a success. She's a new woman. Penny 2.0 is capable of monitoring the human's hunger, health, sanitary levels, and even detecting illnesses. What are you waiting for, Robbie? Take her for a spin. Oh my. She sails like new, Captain. Boot sequence successful. Not bad for an old bag of circuits like me, if I say so myself. 
Let's begin by inspecting your vitals. Huh, it's a text field. Let's see. Oh, Robbie. I've encountered an error that I didn't expect to see. In the field where ID is supposed to be, it says ID detection failed. Input identification code manually. I de designed it to scan for IDs that humans have in order to identify them. But the human doesn't seem to have an ID code implant. Without it, I it can't assign an ID code to her. She hasn't any identification cards, no microchips, not even a name tag. I can't call her ID redacted. We don't find an ID for her. We'll never be able to use Penny. What do we do, Robbie? Oh, I've got it. What if we give the human a new name? You like that idea, do you? Marvelous. Then let's do our best to devise a proper name for her. Let's see, a proper human name, generating unique ID. How about or friend? It's much harder coming up with names for humans than it is for robots. What parameters necessary for human? Okay, what parameters necessary for human identification am I missing? Huh, a name suitable for humans. There must be an anthropological protocol somewhere in my database. Sob, it's no use, Robbie. I've exceeded my processing capabilities attempting to generate a proper name. I think I need some more time to come up with a name for her. I don't want her to grow up hating me. Oh, well, I was rambling on to myself. It seems her vital analysis is finished. Oh, dear. Temperature, pulse, respiratory, all of her vitals are critical. It's a miracle she's still alive. Now I understand why she was in such a terrible state when we found her. There's no doubt. If you hadn't found her, Robbie, she would have perished already. Huh? What's this? Look, Robbie. Penny is de detecting elevated vital signs from the human. It's possible the human has regained consciousness. Would you be a deer and check on her? Activating crafting bonuses. When you craft an item with a crafting bonus for the first time, the bonus will activate. The bonuses you gain this way are permanent. Craft new items often to get as many as you can. Hey! Craft bonus list. So, inventory size plus two. Well, still useful. Hello, child with mushroom growing out of your eye. Thank goodness she's awake. The medicine really worked. Not that I had any doubt. Anyway, she must be hungry. Maybe she can eat by herself. We feed the girl something. I will feed you rotten food! Good, she ate it, did she? You did it, Robbie. Eating all on her own. I'm so proud of her. Sob. I, I'm i sorry. I really don't know what's come over me. Sob. Sniff. Sniff. They just grow up so fast, you know? I know I cry a lot. When I'm sad, I cry. And when I'm happy, I also cry. Oh, that's right. I had something to tell you, Robbie. I just got caught up seeing our little ID redacted being d independent. I nearly forgot. I'll send you the data. So when you're finished, could you come see me? The human is now able to ingest nutrients, but she's still far from healthy. Her current situation is better than being completely exposed, but she needs a better, uh, proper habitat. 
If it were a perfect world, she'd have a lovely little duplex that isn't brimming with toxic particles. But even if we found somewhere better, she's far too ill to be transported. Then again, the best offense is a good defense. Isn't that what they say? So why not here? How about we build her a home here where she can live safely? Oh, Robbie, we'll make her a dream home. One free of deadly contaminants. Here are the blueprints for a terrarium. We've acquired large aquarium and sturdy base. This is worrying. Well, they're blueprints to build the exterior components of the terrarium, to be precise. While you're out gathering the necessary materials, I'll stay here and continue my research. I found a new zone where the materials can be found. It's called the Manufacturing Plant. The Manufacturing Plant is adjacent to the various factories that produce materials we need. When life needs lemonade, get lemons. Is that right? Well, we need resources, so we should head to the source. I've transmitted the coordinates of the Manufacturing Plant to your drive. Launch your expedition when you can. Oh, Robbie, before you go, I nearly slipped my mind. But there's one more thing. I've been thinking that the human really need... Well, the really... The, ah, that the human really needs a good name. Humans don't just have IDs. They have names they call each other. <sighs> You're yawning too now. Names that make them feel special. After searching my database many times and analyzing thousands upon thousands of years of human history, I found it. The perfect name for a human girl. Toriko. Little Toriko of the scrapyard. Or Toriko? Maybe? I don't know. Well, considering she's only human, she's classified as royalty? Or the only human? In that case, maybe I should call her Princess Toriko. Or maybe even Queen Toriko. No. Perhaps simply... Toriko suits her best. What do you think, Robbie? Human name has been printed as Toriko in the robot's memory. I like the way you said it before better. The Toriko? Uh oh. Oh, you have, you have no idea how pleased I am to hear of your approval. What's that? You only rejected the ideas I suggested because they contain prohibited characters. Both uh, and uh, contain special character symbols or spaces. I thought it was because you thought the names weren't suitable for a human girl. In any case, the human... No. Toriko's name has been designated. Okay, Robbie. Let's work together and give Toriko the healthy, happy life she deserves. I'll do whatever I can to search for things to make that happen. I'll be waiting for you... I'll be awaiting your return from the... from your expedition in the manufacturing plant. We... Was a cute little game. So we still have the unknown runes. I'm curious how deep they go, but I gotta get tough glass and a sturdy pillar. We are going to put a human in a glass jar and that will keep them alive, I guess. <laughs>